वेलकम टू बायोलॉजी क्लास चिल्ड्रन यू नो दैट वी ऑल नीड फूड वाटर एंड ऑक्सीजन फॉर सर्वाइवल द फूड वी ईट गेट डाइजेस्टेड इन स्टमक एंड स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन एंड इन टर्न आर बॉडी ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस वेरियस हार्मफुल वेस्ट लाइक कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट but children have you ever wondered how the digested food reach each cell of your body or how the oxygen inhaled through your nose reaches every cell in the body for the process of respiration or how waste material from different parts of the body reach the kidneys for excretion you know children we have a well developed system in our body which helps in transport of nutrients gases and chemical substances from one part of the body to the other after looking at this picture you must have guessed that i am talking about circulatory system so today we are going to start with our next chapter the circulatory system circulatory system is a system responsible for transport of various substances to and from different parts of the body these substances are carried by blood which flows throughout our body in blood vessels and the flow of the blood is maintained in an orderly manner by the pumping organ called the heart so children circulatory system in human beings which is also called cardiovascular system is a network consisting of heart blood and blood vessels so what does the circulatory system in humans consist of it consists of heart which is a muscular organ which pumps blood throughout the body blood which is a fluid which plays an important role in circulating food water and essential products to different parts of the body and blood vessels which are the pathways through which the blood travels from one part to different parts of the body so now children will study each part of the circulatory system one by one and we will start with blood blood is a fluid connective tissue which contains specialized cells it flows inside the blood vessels and carries substances throughout the body it is bright red in color an average adult normally has about 5 liters of blood it has two components plasma 55% blood cells or corpuscles approximately 45% now this up upcoming video will tell you about the components of the blood blood 10 pints of life force coursing through thousands of miles of arteries veins and capillaries those blood vessels carry blood to every other organ keeping them functioning and thriving Our red blood cells carry oxygen and nutrients. Our platelets stop bleeding and help to heal our wounds. Our white cells protect us against infection. And the yellow liquid plasma in which they are suspended carries an array of proteins that regulate bleeding and clotting. blood performs a number of important functions for the body let's discuss them one by one the first major function performed by the blood is transportation it helps in carrying oxygen and carbon dioxide between respiratory organs and tissues of the body it helps in transporting the nutrients and excretory products it carries the stored food 
and vitamins to the tissues or organs where they are needed it helps in transporting the waste products from the tissues to the excretory organs it also carries hormones from the glands to the parts where they are needed for action second very important function performed by the blood is protection blood contains antibodies to fight against the infections in the body it prevents excessive bleeding in case of accidents by forming blood clots the next important function performed by the blood is regulation blood helps in regulating the temperature of an organism and distribution of heat equally in all parts of the body blood also helps in regulating the water balance so children these are the various functions performed by the blood the upcoming video will explain you the blood its components and their functions briefly what is blood well blood is made up of four major components plasma red blood cells white blood cells and platelets plasma makes up about 50 to 55 percent of blood and its main contents include water which makes up about 90 percent of plasma glucose hormones enzymes proteins minerals and various waste products red blood cells make up about 45 to 50 percent of blood and their primary function is to carry oxygen to cells and deliver carbon dioxide to lungs white blood cells make up one to two percent of blood and they help protect the body against disease and invaders platelets make up one to two percent of blood and they're involved in clotting and preventing bleeding blood has three major functions in the body number one transportation blood transports oxygen and other various nutrients to cells throughout the body it also carries waste products and carbon dioxide to the kidneys and lungs for removal from the body number two protection blood carries white blood cells which fight infections that threaten to damage the body and number three regulation blood regulates body temperature as well as ph balance and that be blood so children we discussed one of the very important component of circulatory system that is blood in the class today we will be discussing the other parts of the circulatory system in the next class thank you and take care of yourself